Wonder Woman. The lasso seems like it'd be a fun addition. Only problem is it makes me tell the truth. Eh, she's pretty cute. I don't care if I admit to my war crimes. Smash. I need photos. Photos of Spider-Man. Superman. I'm gonna tick a lot of people off, but Superman is basically one-dimensional Homelander. No way someone has that much power and just chooses to spend all of their time being nice to ants. Pass. There's no way in hell Superman tolerates anything other than vanilla either. Batman. First of all, let's get it out of the way. Batman's a goddamn furry. And I'm not, so it's a pass. Second of all, his parents' death was enough to get him to run around in a bat suit in the middle of the night assaulting criminals. You don't think that level of obsession is gonna unhealthily creep into his intimate life? Pass. I don't want to roleplay as both his dead parents at the same time. Elastigirl. Ever been tied up with somebody's limbs while their head goes wherever it wants? Me neither, but ask me after I finish the next sentence. Smash. The Hulk. Honestly, I'm not sure if it will be really big or really small, because it's either going to match the rest of his body or he's going to have a little roid dong. Either way, it's a pass, but She-Hulk, however. Remember that scene where she twerked and then a bunch of basement people got really angry on behalf of Stan Lee's ghost without knowing his opinion? Yeah, this is different from regular Marvel. It's better. Smash. Wolverine. There's just so many ways this could go wrong. You know what they say, better safe than bleeding from what used to be your genitals. Pass. Iron Man. Cyborg Robert Downey Jr. definitely has some sort of cybernetic vibrating Jarvis integrated fleshlight somewhere in there. Smash. Uh. Spider-Man. On one hand, he could get really creative with webs. On the other hand, he got this weird spider disease from getting bitten. So is it contagious? I think I'm gonna pass on account of potential spider crabs. Aquaman. I think that saltwater would be insanely painful when entering any hole, and also I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to make it a 23-way with every fish in the reef. Pass. Black Panther. That suit is one of the coolest superhero costumes in my opinion. Only second to Deadpool and the legendary CEO of sex himself, Kite Man. Smash. Captain Marvel. Wait a minute. Is Captain Marvel made by Marvel? So her power is meta product placement? That comment's gonna piss off some Marvel stands, but I don't care. Smash. Captain America. For some people, Captain America might check all the boxes. For some reason, I feel like this guy would snitch on you to the federal government for not doing your taxes or doing your drugs. So that's a pass. The Flash. While the speed and athleticism may be top tier, we also don't know if he has the fastest cum response in the world. Two pump chump? Not really something you put on the resume, but Bud. Pass. Ant-Man. You remember the scene from The Boys where a knockoff Ant-Man crawls up someone's urethra and then explodes them into a pile of blood? That's, uh, that's why I'm gonna pass. Groot. I love his catchphrase, and he's literally got muscles made out of wood. However, all of him is made out of wood, and I don't want my wood to get splinters. Pass. Black Widow. Some of you might make fun of her for not having powers, but she's fighting these world-ending enemies with no magic Marvel roids to speak of. If anything, that makes her even hotter. Smash. I know what you're about to say. Why are so many of them dudes? Listen here, you little shit. I could either just predictably say pass the whole time, not include the most popular heroes, or make jokes and satirize the Smasher Pass format as a whole. I'm not gay, guys. I'm just playing the YouTube algorithm. Come on, stop. It's hurting my feelings. Mystique. Not only is this blue lady thicker than all hell, she can transform into everything anyone could ever want. Smash. I got a weird chair with the butt cut out and a list of e-girls. Let's do this shit. Have y'all considered therapy or possibly euthanasia? Harley Quinn. When I say mentally ill, barely dressed, but somehow still dressed weird with weird color hair is my type, that isn't even a joke. That's exactly my type. Smash. Lex Luthor. So it's like Elon Musk, but like bald. Aw, oh, damn it. I gotta pay $8 to get unbanned. Pass. Thanos. I'm not saying Purple Shrek isn't thick, because that gif of him twerking proved what it needed to. All I'm saying is my dongus is one snap away from becoming a pile of dust. Pass. Too risky. The Joker. For me, it depends on the iteration. Am I dealing with the Heath Ledger psycho or Suicide Squad's fake, not intimidating gangster persona? Because I'm really not in the mood to knock Jared Leto's teeth out with my dong. Screw it. Pass on all the claims. 
clowns. Catwoman. I don't think there's a more flexible woman in the DC universe. There's also something about a tight leather bodysuit that really does it for me. Probably the fact that it was literally designed for that. Smash. Bane. You only adopted the horny. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see a pussy until I was already a man. By then, it was nothing to me but blinding! Smash. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy is a definite smash. I know the name might sound a little scary considering a bumpy red rash on your peepee, -pee, but keep in mind this, this person can control any plant. Definitely knows the slimiest one and which one can make your dopamine go burr. Smash. Scarecrow. I feel like if Scarecrow knows how to isolate pure fear into a gas, they can definitely isolate pure arousal in a gas. Enough of that scarecrow molly could get me to say smash to anyone. Megamind. No bitches? Nah, if you saw the end of this movie, Megamind gets mad bitches. I'm gonna bust on that big blue dome and you would use it to polish it all shiny. What the hell am I talking about again? Smash. Dr. Octopus. All those arms, if this man's got a tentacle eye coordination game on par with his engineering chops, he could give one hell of a mechanical dandel manhandle. Smash. Venom. I'm not putting it anywhere near Eddie Brock, but the symbiote, however, could you imagine how being entirely engulfed by this goopy glob monster with an intense mind-to-mind -mind connection with Veal? Smash. Dr. Doom. The metal mask seems like it might be too sharp to involve sloppy toppy, so for Dr. Doom, I gotta pass. MF Doom, however, I'm a sucker with someone with some talent. Rest in peace to the greatest rapper to ever live, non-negotiable Smash. Magneto. You ever hear of the guy who got a, a magnet ball stuck in his urethra and then had to go to the hospital after putting a paperclip in his pocket? Yeah, that's what I imagine it's like being with this goober. Pass. Two-Face. How does one put a bag over only half the face? I will say that Two-Face would probably be the ultimate switch. Although, if you told the nice side what you were into in confidence, the mean side would definitely spill it. Pass. I can't risk that. Deadpool. I don't think he's a supervillain, but he's on the list because shut up. But Ryan Reynolds is Ryan Reynolds. I'm pretty sure you get an IMDB credit just for being in his ass. Smash. You see all these mutated terrorists that happen to wear really neat costumes? Yeah, let's just say they all know who the big bad is. Imagine what I would do to a human that didn't like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled. I wouldn't want to find out. Thanks to my bunny 23 for this awesome new depiction of AZFK. Shout out the inner circle. Love y'all. <laughs>